the bullying rate that we normally have for starting school is extremely high. We're known for that. But this year, it didn't happen that way. One of the main objectives of now on Not On Our Watch is to provide a safe learning environment for our children. Because when children don't feel safe, when they are intimidated, when they're frustrated, they don't learn. Well, number one, it has uh, created an awareness, especially for the adults. Not a lot of their uh, teachers are aware of a lot of the things that, have, that, that we've uh, learned in this program, such as cyberbullying mm -hmm. and the, uh, the, uh, the prevalence and how widespread it is and how serious it is. I think that the four weeks actually helped me realize that bullying is a huge problem. My, my way of actually dealing with it is tell parents and also administrators just to say, hey, open your eyes because it's here and now it's out. I'm not saying it's a problem, but we have to come up with solutions in regard to how to deal with it. Sometimes we think bullying is just picking on someone smaller than you, but there are a lot of things that go in hand in hand in bullying. Bullying is definitely beginning to be a major problem. Parents have to know what their children are doing. They have to know what their children are, are utilizing, what they're using. You know, with all of the forms of, of bullying that are out there, with all of the cyberbullying, with, you know, with all of the sexting that's going on and the sextortion that's going on out there, um, parents need to be aware of it. It made everyone be aware of how they act and their, their influence they have on other people. Like before, everyone would just talk about people and have no regrets about it, but now they stop and think before they speak to somebody. They stop and think like, oh, okay, she has feelings, so how would I feel if someone was to tell me what I'm about to say to this person? A lot of kids don't take and treasure some of the things that they do, and they don't treasure and care for anything that anybody else does. Their, their character's developing. Uh, you see integrity. Uh, increasing among the children, self-respect um, uh, happening in them, and respect for one another. I think that's the biggest thing because when children begin to develop self-respect, they have respect for others. A lot of kids nowadays don't understand the value of self-respect. If we don't have respect for others, nevertheless ourselves, how can we treat another person the way that they should be treated? So without self-respect, how can you respect somebody else? That's, that's one of the main things that we wanted to accomplish in trying to create a safe environment here at Johnson for them to learn. Self-respect was at the root of it, and we see that happening. Uh, they're taking pride in themselves. They're taking pride in their school. School morale seems to be increasing and growing, so that's, that's what we're witnessing, and we're thrilled about that. People, and you don't know what they go through, and you, you, you view them in a certain way that's really not them. So I think that this program has opened everyone up to each other and it's made more friends. It's been a really positive change with your um, anti-bullying campaign. It's brought, brought down the number of bullies. And it's a good thing that we get people to come together as a unit. We all talk, it brings a friendship, a close relationship. During y'all program, um, I saw the kids back talking and being friends. They, they, they weren't thinking about fighting. A lot of the students uh, more apt to come to security officers or principals and let us know exactly what's going on before there's a physical altercation. People say they've been bullied, but now people are actually like knowing what that means. Having the NOW program at Johnson is by far the best, one of the best things that our school has received. I would steadfastly tell any principal implement the program within their schools. The greatest challenge that we have at this stage in our program is having enough volunteers, having enough people uh, that can actually be a continued presence here at the school. The students are crying out to us pretty much saying, we need you here, we need you here, we need you to stay here. Watch who your kids hang around, watch, watch who they're texting, look at their bills, look at their call log. Listen and take heed because people listen and not hear, but listen and take heed to what's going on because it's real, it's out there.
Hello, my name is Daniel West. I am the on-site assistant community coordinator for the Not On Our Watch program, which is a part and a component of the Cocoa and Friends anti-bullying program. We have been in our pilot stage of our program here at Johnson High School, but the program has transformed into more than just a program. This is a movement. If you want to become part of the movement, feel free to contact us at www.cocoandfriendsfoundation.org. That's cocoandfriendsfoundation.org. We'll be happy to come over to your school and help you make a difference and become part of the movement.